Hello, this is Maria Riccelli from BNC Software, the SOM Technical Marketing. Today, I'm going to explain you how to configure the business service view as part of TrueSci Capacity Optimization version 11.5. The business service view requires administrator privileges for deploying and configuring it. Access TrueSci Capacity Optimization console under Administration tab and expand to the System panel until the Maintenance Additional Packages page and click on the deploy icon on the right hand side corresponding to the business service view to deploy the view as we do in the case of other out of the box views. Then access the view in TrueSight Console navigation pane and select the business service entries under capacity views. You will be presented with a pop up message. This message indicates that no domains have been selected yet for the service view population. At this point, you can start configuring the service view by selecting domains from the settings page. The business service view requires administrator for configuring the view itself by selecting domains from the settings page. On the service pool creation tab within the settings page, choose the domains containing business services to create the service pools. Select the tag types for the service pool creations and please note that tags are not mandatory for service pool creation. Service pools will be created only for selected domains. Service pools are essential for the computation of indicator for application and business services upon which the business service view is built. Service pools will appear in the workspace of the TrueSight Capacity Optimization Console as well as be presented in other subpages of the view itself. On the Business Service View tab within the Settings page, select now the tag type for Service Category Chart. Note that your business service domains must be tagged to be used to populate the view. Anytime you'll need to add or remove service pools or change your business service category tag, you'll need to click the wrench icon, Edit Settings, Add the Remove Business Service Domain, and then save it. Please note that there is a Refresh View button for immediate refresh of the view itself. Here are some links to documentation page related to supported and unsupported technologies and entities for service pool and view. And finally, here is a recap of what an administrator has to do to successfully populate the business service view. First, install the business service view, then grant access to users, Third, import business service and application data for multi-cloud infrastructure from configuration and performance data for servers, virtual machine and central system and business service and application hierarchy. Create a service pool and configure the tag types for business service category. Tags for servers are optional, but best practices suggest the tags should be set for servers for better capacity planning and optimization whereas tags for business services are mandatory. Thanks for watching.